Welcome back, everybody, for another episode. Yes, another episode, right? It's, it's like this game is long. But another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond playthrough. In the last episode, we got our 8th gym badge here at Sunny Shore. And now, we're gonna go and see if we can take on the Elite Four. This city makes me feel at home somehow. It's next to the sea and there's a lighthouse. Oh, that's the city's gym badge. You must be very good. Or, um, please, uh, take these too. What are these? Waterfall. That is what we fucking came here for. Each of those technical machines contains Waterfall. If you use Waterfall from your Poketch, you'll be able to get to the Pokemon League. Uh, I don't know how I should say this, but uh, good luck. My thing is, like, the game only gives you so many of these. And it's like... Alright, get rid of Aqua Tail, like, right now. Because this is 80, but it's accurate. It's 80, but it's accurate. And that's all I care about. Because we miss way too many Aqua Tails for it to be 90 accuracy. Like, it's 90 accuracy, that means it's actually 10 accuracy. <laughs> that's, that's the meme that, like, people like to say about that. But, um... Yeah, so... I think, if anything, today's episode is just going to be victory road because we've already fought this trainer i know that to be true because we did that in the last episode but um yeah honestly that is a whole ass tentacruel okay <laughs> let's go ahead and catch this thing real quick for the pokedex but um like i was saying I don't want to necessarily skip Victory Road for you guys, but, um... Alright, I'm just gonna run from this thing, honestly. But, like, this route, the route to get to Victory Road, I am absolutely 100% fine with not showing that shit because it's just pointless, at least in my opinion. Because the build-up to Victory Road, it's just not going to be worth it, in my opinion. Because, like, look at, like, what are we doing here? Honestly, like, what are we doing? We're, f we're catching tentacles right now. Like, what is going on, bro? W what is going on? And then, they don't even want to stay in the ball. Why am I not using, right? Why, why am I not using a Super Repel? I'm about to do that right now. Right now, actually. I'm about to do that right now. And we have 40 of them boys. Excuse you for being in a bikini? Shoddy. That is the least of my concerns. Azumarill. Amoongus. <laughs> I cannot believe. I named one of my videos Amoongus. Oh, this thing is pure fairy type? I thought it was just pure water type and then gained the fairy type when it evolved into Meryl. That's interesting. Azumarill. So you don't even have Meryl. The evolution in between. Wow, Kasumi would actually body Coilerae if they ever got in a fight as you just seen she has two stab that is super effective Coilerae only has ice beam and maybe bounce but she would have to hope that she's faster than Kasumi that's the thing that's the only way bounce is gonna kill because huge power bounce definitely would kill Kas or Kasumi definitely would but like I said I'm just gonna go fight these guys, so I will see you guys when we get to Victory Road. Or, I'll start the recording if anything important happens, but I doubt it, so, see ya! And we're finally here at the Pokemon League. It took me a while to get here, I had to fight a whole bunch of swimmers. And it was just honestly, it was just very annoying to deal with. 
it got to the point where I just didn't want to deal with it anymore. So I turned on a couple YouTube videos and just, you know, casually played through the rest of the, uh, the way until we got here to the Pokemon League, as you guys can see. No, we're not going to use one just yet. Actually, we probably should. We're going to use Rock Climb right here. And so this is going to be the majority of today's episode, Victory Road. Victory Road is always something that is important to, for Pokemon games. It's in every Pokemon game, I believe. Was there a Victory Road in Sword and Shield? I don't remember. That's something I might have to look. I don't really remember a Victory Road for Sword and Shield. Let me know if you guys remember such thing. Okay. That means he's probably going to go for it again, and I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to Night Slash. <laughs> if he missed the first time, there's a very high likelihood that he would go for it again. And I'm not going to play with, play with that, so... Gengar, ooh. Gengar is a cool Pokemon to have. He would be absolutely amazing to have on this team. Because he gets Thunder and Thunderbolt. He gets Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Sludge Bomb. Like, you see, that kind of coverage would have been amazing to have on this team. Alakazam? Nah, we're staying in. This is the first time we've seen this Pokemon, I think. Oh, Sucker Punch was disabled. Interesting. Not that it mattered at all. Because El Jefe don't care. El Jefe doesn't care. Kasumi or Coilerae level 58. And that's fine with me because we are going, we are definitely going to need her services around the time of the final battle. Like, there's no question about it. We're gonna need her to come through. Okay, but it doesn't seem like there are any Pokemon. Uh, just as I say that, we run into one. If this is the type of shit that I'm running into, I'm just gonna use a Repel. Like, honestly, if this is the type of shit that I have to run into, I'm just gonna use a goddamn Repel. So, and I mean, like, let's face it, what is the likelihood that we run into another shiny Pokemon again? Not very likely, people. I would consider myself to be pretty lucky with some aspects of my life. But I don't think I'm that lucky to catch two shiny Pokemon in a single playthrough. The fact that we even got the first one is just amazing and separates us from so many other playthroughs on YouTube right now. And it's just... It's just cool. <laughs> Come on, crit. It didn't crit, but yes. It killed. Staraptor. Ah. Intimidate? Uh, I don't really think that matters, bro, because I'm about to crit. Believe it or not, I've never used a Star Raptor in 4th Gen. Never done it. I have never used a Star Raptor in 4th Gen. Believe it or not. And when I replay this game on Pearl, I still probably wouldn't use it. Because in Pearl, I actually want to use Teddy Ursa. 
I'm not gonna lie. I actually want to use Teddy Ursula. Well, actually, no. I will save that Teddy Ursula for another playthrough that I plan on doing. Because... Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness would be a nice little playthrough to do. Also, I think Teddy Ursa is in Pokemon Legends Arceus that's coming out soon, so who knows? Who knows? Maybe we use him on that game. That would be pretty cool, though. That would be very cool. Teddy Ursa, Ursaring, not the best Pokemon, but they are certainly something that you don't see very often. And I, I'm very fond of Ursaring and Teddy Ursa because of Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. And when I was playing that game, oh man, this is a this is a meme right here. This matchup, this is actually a meme. If you go back and go to YouTube and type in Blissey Health Bar fourth gem, it literally takes like what was it like two minutes for this thing to deplete its whole health bar in the original games. It was crazy. It's, it's ridiculous. That's how much HP this, this Pokemon has. And that's also how slow 4th Gen used to be before these remakes. And that's also how much XP you fucking get. God damn. I forgot Blissey does hand out shit tons of XP. Wow. Okay. Sheesh. Alright. Yes, use another repel. What did I say in the last episode? Was it the last episode? It might have been. But, if they want you to go somewhere and it seems like there's nothing there, there usually is something there. Alright, let's go up here. Okay, so how how would one, right? How would one get over there? Hmm. It doesn't seem like it is particularly possible at this point in time, and that I must wait. So we kind of wasted two super repels, but it's all right. It is all right. Cause we're just gonna go through here real quick like I'm going this way first little broom stick okay and this is a puzzle I mean clearly you would have to move this one first Would you move this one first? Yeah, you would. Yeah, cause then, and then you can break this, yeah. Actually, did I just fuck it up? I think I did. Yeah, I think I definitely fucked that up. I mean, it seemed like it was the right thing at the time, but I didn't think it completely through. So we might have to leave the area and come back. That was a crit, bro. El Jefe, relax, yo. Relax, yo. Wukong wants to learn Calm Mind? No, sir. Rampardos? That's actually not good for El Jefe. 
But I will send out our boy Wukong though. We're in a close combat here. Yes, sir. Rampardos. Uh, I don't really know how I feel about that Pokemon. Like he's a, I, I guess, Carnivine. Actually, we don't even need to switch. What am I doing? I'm gonna flare blitz the everlasting shit of this dude. Pretty sure that's the first Carnivine we've ever come across, too. That recoil damage, though, man. That ain't good, yo. That ain't good at all. Yeah, I messed that up big time, yo. So this is what I'm gonna do. Go down here, and then head back up. And then redo it. Because I want that item, bro. I want that item. I need that item, bro. I have no idea what that item is, but I need that. no idea what that item is but I simply need that <laughs> I simply need that item there is no question about it this is not this is also there's no question that this is a bad matchup for El Jefe god damn because this thing is uh, just pure fairy type so I'm just gonna air cutter hope for a crit and I think that was a crit it just didn't do shit because our special attack isn't the best. I'm about to teach this motherfucker fly, bro. Honestly, I'm about, I'm like I'm this close to just teaching him fly and just being done with it. Actually, why did I not just do this? I'm tripping. It probably still would have done the same amount of damage. Cuz Clefairy is Torterra? Let's go, Koi. You have our only ice type move. Let's go, Koi. Torterra. You're about to get ice beamed, buddy. Yes, sir. Man's had a whole tree on his back. That was just wild. Alright. Hmm, okay, so how would you go about doing this one? Well, you would first... I mean, like, bro. Okay, that makes sense, because when you go down, you come back, you'll be reset, so you just push it down. Okay, I see. I was like, bro, how can I finesse this? You can't. Not from there. You have to go out and then come back up. That's what I get. That's the, the finesser in me. Always trying to finesse something that has no business being finessed. And then you get caught up stupid shit like that but this nice lash is gonna hurt I 
I just wish we had a physical, long, like, big chance to crit hip out on. Oh, uh, let's go with Kasumi, because Coil Ray is already level 59, dude. She's already level 59. Like, god damn. Hip out on. Sandstream, oh my gosh. I don't know why. Excuse me, but I don't know why I thought Hapowdon was a freaking fifth gen Pokemon. I don't know why. I guess he is fourth gen. Okay, and this is the route that I was looking for to get to those items. Alright, here we go. So I'm not you're my champ. How did I know? Cause we're on Victory Road, baby! Everybody has fully evolved Pokemon. They're trying to give you as much experience as you can possibly get before you get to the Elite Four. Yes, sir. El Jefe, level 59. That's good, that's good, that's good. Bro, there's just like... You see, this is why I wanted to dedicate a whole episode for this area. Because there's honestly just so many paths and so much shit you can do before you fully or truly exhaust this area of all its resources, all its battles, all its items. There's just, like, so much shit to do, because we still gotta come back up here. We still gotta use strength on this bo this boulder. Push it out the way. And then come around here, and then what the fuck do we have here? Okay, so this has to go this way. For a full restore, I mean, that's not bad, like... Oh god, I almost fucked up. I almost fucked up big time! If we're doing a double battle, let's just do this right here. With these two Pokemon. <laughs> Because El Jefe is level 59, Coil Ray is level 59. What are y'all about to have? Wish Cash and Star Raptor. Okay. 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 We can finally go for Stone Edge. <laughs> of course you have Intimidate. Why wouldn't you? That Intimidate really fucked us up. And she was close combat on her. What the hell? Earthquake? Bro, relax. What is this team? That was a crit on Gaia too? 
relaxed, y'all. What is... Just aerial aces, wish cash, and then... That didn't kill, yo. Oh my god, dude. We are in trouble. If this stone edge doesn't hit... There we go. That was a crit, too. I forgot Stone Edge does have an increased chance to crit, I think. He used Earthquake again, bro. Can you please? Gaia, you do not have to cry. <laughs> You do not have to cry, baby. Honestly, you can just double edge. It doesn't matter. We're about to bullet punch this thing. This wish cash was a problem, bro. What the hell? Really, that Star Raptor was coming for our life. With close combat, like, bro, relax, yo. What the fuck was that? Damn, man. Now I got, we got 22,000 though. Boy, if Coil Ray was out there throwing ass, they would have gave us some serious bread. And we just got Stone Edge. There we go. That's really what I've been looking for. Wukong, you can get rid of Mock Punch for now. And then I also want to use some PP ups on close combat. It only boosts one. Kind of bad. But really, we still have three rare candies that I will use when we're closer to uh. Who's level 58? Kasumi, Wukong, and Jin. Alright, Wukong, you're up. Wukong, you're up. Do not want to waste any time with no wild Pokemon. Some random ass wild Pokemon that doesn't even matter because we have our team already and our team isn't going to change. Psychic Valencia, Chingling. Oh, nice and Flare Blitz should kill. Flare Blitz should destroy this thing. Is this thing not Steel Psychic? Is it just Psychic? And Chimeco is Steel Psychic? Alright, this thing should be Steel Psychic. Yeah, I'm gonna flare blitz again, bro. Why not? Oh, never mind. They might just be just pure psychic type. Wow. Okay. Coil of Rays, level 60. My god, dude.
Okay, we can't go over there just yet. So we can use waterfall over there. There's probably something over here that we need to get. Oh, there definitely is. Ah. Uh, what is going on? Nothing. Alright. Swap you. We need to heal up though. We got any full heals? Or full restore? Double battle, as expected. Medic, Medicham, and Gyarados, both of which are really not good for Wukong. Fuck, dude, Timid, I forgot about that shit. They said Jin and Wukong are in sync with each other? Alright, here. A hit too, thank you! There we go, Gyarados is not as much of a problem as he once was. That's good. And then the aerial ace is gonna come through and b -b 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 body this motherfucker. Bro. And Gyarados used to be a problem. It used to be a problem until we got some more coverage. We got some more coverage for our Pokemon. Now Wukong is probably the hardest hitting all around Pokemon on the squad. We can come down here and see what is up here. Another rare candy. So we have four rare candies. Nice. Don't know if I want to give all four rare candies to one Pokemon. Or if I want to distribute them among four different Pokemon. Alright, there's an area we can come over here for. Because then we, when we go up that waterfall, we can go around, come down the other waterfall. Because I'm pretty sure there's another one on the other side. Okay, uh, what to do, what to do against this Pokemon. x, x scissor should be neutral damage. So x scissor is probably going to be our best bet. Because it's stab. Yeah, just as expected. Nice and stab X scissor. Give me all your money, dude. We could have been making so much bread if I let off with Coil Array. Cause she has the amulet coin. Yes. You shouldn't even have to ask me that. Is that the fucking gym leader? <laughs> What's her name? We just got Dragon Pulse. Interesting. Too bad absolutely nobody could learn that move. Is that Fantana? I don't think it is. Imagine if you had to fight the gym leaders again before you get to the Elite Four. Oh hell, and the Dragon Tamer, Andre. Gabite. Well, this is our first taste of you know what. <laughs> you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And Coil Array is literally our only hope against such Pokemon, against such combination of typing. Dragon Claw, get out of here, that doesn't affect us. That's a shame. Dragons used to be so OP before 6th gen. Before 6th gen, dragons used to be the premier type. 
they used to cause so much trouble because nothing resists, or except for steel, but like, it damn near resists everything too. Now it just gets completely shit on by fairy type. This is where we fucking came from, is it not? Yeah, so... I was tripping. Oh my gosh, dude. We're already at the 35 minute mark. Do you see what I mean? Like, if I would have added the route it t I had to take to get here on top of Victory Road, that would be like an hour and a half long video because I, I still don't know how long we have to go. Wait, actually, yeah, this is the uh, waterfall right here. Did we get this item? Dude, I'm fucking drunk. Yeah, because that's where the fucking um, Dragon Claw was. All right. Yes, we're using another repel, which is why I bought like 30 of them. I don't want any wild Pokemon disrupting us. We're already 35, 36 minutes in. We still haven't, like, fought everybody that we could. See, look at this, bro. Look at this. We still have to get all the, the rest of the items. And we still need to make it out of here alive. And then you got motherfuckers named Edgar in our way? You don't even look like an Edgar. But it's a good thing that, um, Tentacruel cannot do shit to us. I wish we had some more coverage on Jin. That would be amazing. Golem? We can switch, literally switch out to any Pokemon. Literally every Pokemon on our team has a move that does super effective damage on a Golem. Which is crazy. Look, his golem has sturdy. I would say I wish mine was like that, but Rockhead is pretty cool. Cause we that like double edge is just free. Free as fuck. Free.com. That shadow ball is gonna do it. Empoleon? Yes, sir. I think I want to just close combat this thing. Actually, no. I need my health bag. I need my health bag, sir. I need my health bag. What are you going to do? Brine? That does nothing. I need my health back, sir. Aqua Jet. Yeah, anyways, like I was saying, I need my health back, sir. Dude, Empoleon is such a unique... It has the most unique typing in the game. Water Steel. It's the only Water Steel type in all of Pokemon, I'm pretty sure. And it's like... What do you even do against that? Does it is it weak to electric? It's weak to fighting. It's neutral to fire. Neutral to grass. Like it just solves so much of its own. Okay, that dude is blocking a path that that we clearly need to get our hands on. Okay, I need to be sure I don't. We got the razor claw. Not the Razor Fang. But actually, what does the Razor Claw do? Oh, we have the Soft Sand and the Light Clay. The Icicle Clay, Spell Tab, or something. Ba 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 Where's the Razor Claw? This sharply increases the holder's cr critical hit ratio. Okay. So now, 
we are practically all but guaranteed to land crits. What is up here? Alright. Over here looks like the place we are supposed to go. But we're not gonna do that just yet. Because there's a bunch of other shit that we have to get through. Like this man right here. But the fact that we got our critical hit ratio increased on top of um, the already good critical hit ratio that we get from Night Slash and Air Cutter basically ensures that it's a crit every time. Like, I would actually be... I would actually be surprised if they didn't crit sometimes. Gabite. Oh, there's that a Gibble. Gyarados? Bring that ass here, boy. I guess I'll stay in. I guess I'll stay in. And just aerial ace. Oh gosh. Crunch, that's gonna do nice and crap. That did more than I thought it was gonna do. I'm impish nature, everything, like waterfall? Jin, are you alright? Alright, that should be enough. Aerial Ace will literally never hit, never miss, no matter what. Oh, that phase level 60. Gibble. That's a ground dragon type if I've ever seen it. But, um, yeah, it's Dazzling Gleam this thing. I forgot I got that shit too. We have Dazzling Gleam and Play Rough. Forgot I have Dazzling Gleam. Just dazzling gleam the hell out of this thing. Why not? There we go. There we have it. Get this thing up out of my sight. Jin is level 60 now, too. Man, this also seems like a place where we're supposed to go. But it definitely isn't. Not not what I'm trying to do right now. Yes, I want to use another repel. Why do you even need to ask me that? Bottle of zinc? Alright, so what are you what are you over here blocking, sir? Alright, so he's blocking something that we clearly, we clearly have no business going to right now. At least not in this stage in our career. Not in this stage of our career. Maybe when we become champion, he might show us some respect and kindly move out of the way and let us deal with whatever is on the other side of that cave. But... Doesn't look like he will this time, so let's just walk up here real quick and uh ooh. We have an interesting puzzle on our hands. But all you would do is simply this, people. You move that. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Bullocks, mate. Bullocks. You would move this, like I was saying. Slowly come over here, and then bam. That's how you do that. And that's how you get Dark Pulse. That's how you get Dark Pulse. Now, this video is already long as fuck, but anybody else can learn that? El Jefe? Alright, nobody. Nobody. Nobody, nobody, nobody. 
Nice, nice and... I don't want to say useless. Don't want to say useless, but nice and... Useless. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Dark Pulse is a good move. Dark Pulse has a chance to flinch. I believe. Oh man, I keep getting this... I keep getting the paths messed up. Hopefully we are at the end of Victory Road, though. Hopefully we are at the end of Victory Road, though. Oh, yes we are. We have made it to the end, people. We have seen it through. That is one large waterfall. Okay. Well, people, that's going to be the end for this episode. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and comment down below. Do you think we're going to live the Elite Four, or do you think we're going to get absolutely worked? Let me know down below. But, as always, consider subscribing. We are near the end of this playthrough, at least for the main game. Don't know if I'll record the post-game just yet, but yeah. Leave that in the comments below, too. You guys want to see any post-game content? Should I make a new team for the post-content? Um, I'll ask that question again when we get to the last episode of this, which is probably going to be the next episode. I'm going to do the whole Elite Four, then the Champion, then be done with it. But uh, yeah, I'll see you in what might be the last episode next time. See ya. Peace.